guys, it's Jeremy Ashburn with SCNewGex.tv and this is the Submitter Training Video. The goals here are to give you an overview of the Submitter's multitasking abilities, to show you the Submitter window particulars, to do a social network nuke with the Submitter, to talk about the Submitter's color-coded status window, and to walk through some of the basic features of the Submitter. So let's take a look at the software. Let's take a look at the Submitter window. In order to see the Submitter, obviously we have to be doing something. So let's create some accounts with the Submitter. I'm going to create a new campaign. And I make this a root campaign. And the first thing you'll notice here, this is a brand new campaign, so it has nothing here on the profiles or projects. So let's do some new account creation. I title the project, double click to open. I like to have some organization here. So I'm gonna call this SA00001 Evit Petty. So this tells me that this profile will be set up for social network and article directories. Save. I'm going to get an email address here. So now you can see the submitter in action here. I'm just going to maximize this. And we can see it here solving the CAPTCHA. And you'll notice here that this is actually really fast. The old SDNUC program used to be a lot slower but the new submitter is blazing fast. So what it's done here is set up a rule so that all messages within this email address go to the inbox. So I can minimize now, and I'm gonna verify the email. And now I'm all done. So I'm gonna uncheck this email. I've already created the email account. And now let's set this up to create accounts for all social network and article directory sites. And I can see they're all checked here. And uh, I'm going to hit start. Before I go to the window here, you can see that the submitter is actually working on four things at a time. Hub pages, wiki spaces, blogspot, wet paint, and WordPress. And as the submitter goes along, when it gets a success, it will give you a green check. A green check indicates that the account has been successfully set up on that site. Obviously, a red X indicates the account was not successfully set up on that site. So let's take a look at the submitter itself. What the submitter is, is actually a group of windows that are individually submitting information to different websites at the same time. So I currently have four windows open here. And you can watch all four windows do their thing at the same time here. Now if I want to, I can actually create a new browser here just by clicking the new browser button. So now this actually has five things happening at the same time. And I can click new browser again. And now I have six things happening at the same time. So you can see here it's automatically tiling as it goes along. So you can actually tile horizontally or vertically depending on what you want to do there. And if you want to cascade in the old Windows 3.1 style you can do that. And I'll go back to tile vertically here. Now the next thing I want to talk about here is the colors that you find within the submitter. When you see a blue window, that means that that window is actually ready for action. You're going to briefly see that when it's loading a new site. Now a red window means a website is actually being loaded. And you can see that here that these websites are being loaded really fast. This is really exciting because it's blazing fast much faster than the old submitter in the original SENUKEX. Now the green window means that it's not busy, it's not doing anything. And if a window actually stays green for a long period of time, that tells you that there's something wrong. At that point, you can actually stop the submitter, go into the site, fix the issue, and the program will pick things up right where it left off. So if I wanted to maximize this window and fix the issue here, I could go there and do that. Typically, things like that are not required these days because SENUKEX is really automated and works really well. 
the main time you actually interact with a submitter is when you're doing the manual CAPTCHA solving. So let's take a look at manual CAPTCHA solving so you can see what that looks like. I just hit this disable automatic CAPTCHA solving. And so now I'm on the manual CAPTCHA entry. At this point, if you don't want to use an automatic CAPTCHA solving service and you want to use the manual CAPTCHA entry, this is how you would do it. Now notice these yellow windows here. Yellow is a code status that means that the window needs your attention. So it's primarily for CAPTCHA entry. So I'm going to go ahead and do some CAPTCHA entry for you. I can either hit enter or next, and I can keep going this way. And what's happening here is SENUKEX is actually isolating the CAPTCHA and it's bringing it to the window, the forefront window, which allows you to type in the CAPTCHA really fast. So I'm going to click Enable Auto CAPTCHA Solving. And let's go to the main program here. And I'm going to look at Options. You can actually specify on the CAPTCHA Solving tab if you want to have the automatic Auto CAPTCHA Solving service enabled. And if you do, which automatic to CAPTCHA solving service do you want? A lot of people have been using decapture.com. It costs $2 for a thousand CAPTCHAs. And other people have recommended the death by CAPTCHA solving service because it actually has a higher success rate. So at any time, you can actually select one of these and check CAPTCHA balance. So I can see I have $56 in this one and I have $144 in the other one. Now if you go to this options and CAPTCHA screen and uncheck this, this would mean you want to manually do the CAPTCHA. And you can change the default CAPTCHA timeout here from 60 seconds to 90 seconds or longer if you want to. Let's go back to the submitter. Once again, a blue window is a window that's ready for action. A red window is a website being loaded. Yellow is a window that needs your attention, primarily for manual CAPTCHA solving. And green is a window that's waiting for action. Now let's take a look at the window particulars here. You can see here, here's the name of the website. If I maximize this window, I can see this is the entire website. This is what's going on here. Let's take a look at this one. Okay, so I can see here that this is the CO Bootnet website. And essentially the window is doing work right now. You can look down here and this says that this is website 107 of 123. And it just saw the CAPTCHA. And it gives me details here. It told me that it tried this website two different times and it did not get a success rate on this particular article directory. And then here, this is the pause timer option. If you want to pause the program from doing its work, you could check this and actually do the work yourself if you wanted to. So I can see here that it's all done and it gave me the solution center pop-up. And it gives me the issue here, what the problem is, and if there's a solution, what solution to follow here. So now all these sites are all done. I can look here and see green check boxes on all of these and it looks like I had a really high success rate. Looks like I have maybe about 90-95% success rate. Now I'm going to do the email verification and what it's doing is downloading all the emails and it's going to activate all the links. Now as this is happening and this account creation process is a multi-threaded process so this will happen really fast. Let's go back to the submitter and let me talk a little more about it here. The submitter has some interesting features here. It has an automatic bug reporting feature so any websites, like this particular WordPress website, any websites that actually are failed, the SE NukeX team automatically gets notified about where the website got stuck, which web page the site was on, and what it was trying to accomplish. So that's really nice because it means that the SE NukeX team is doing all the work for you, and all you have to worry about is creating the accounts and doing the actual submissions. So it's almost like you have a whole team of programmers doing the work for you so you can focus on the main issue of creating accounts, doing nukes, and making money. Now for those of you guys who are a little bit paranoid about spying and stuff like that, the information that's sent to the SE NukeX team is info that's strictly for debugging purposes only. No information is sent to them about your niche or anything else like that.
they are always getting bug reports and always fixing the problem sites as it happens. So all you need to do is, is focus on creating accounts, doing nukes, and making money. Another feature that the submitter has is an AI. This means that you're going to see a higher success rate because the software is intelligent enough to realize when issues pop up and when they've been fixed. So overall, those of you who have used the old program versus who have seen this new submitter, you probably realize that it's a lot faster than it used to be. What used to take 20 or 30 minutes actually now takes 5 or 10 minutes. If I look here, you can see the success rates are really high here. That's pretty freaking awesome. And also, the manual the CAPTCHA solving service has been improved. So if you want to blow through and manually create 100 sites or 200 sites, it probably will only take you 15, 20 minutes versus 30 minutes or an hour. Now let's talk about browser windows here. You can see here that I had six browser windows going on at once. You can actually do more windows than that. If you wanted to have 10 or 15 or 20 windows at once, as long as your system could handle it, you can do that. Now a quick note here. What I found is that more power is actually less effective. What I mean here is that I find that it's better to have four windows going on at once, nothing more than four windows. It seems like the success rate actually goes down the more windows you have open. So my suggestion would be to not use more than four windows at the same time. I think the issue is that a lot of sites like hub pages are real sensitive. They can actually tell if you've got more going on in the background. Other sites like social bookmarking, RSS, and video, they can allow you to have 10, 12, or 15 browsers open at once. You might want to just play it safe though and keep four browsers open at once. It's really not a major issue the way it used to be because you can schedule everything to happen within SENUKEX at particular times. So that means that the computer is doing the work for you as you're at work or out at play or having fun doing something. It's doing all the work for you in the background as long as you leave your computer on. Okay, so what I'm going to do is do a social network submission. I'm going to hit import project from old version and this project. I'm going to double click to open it. Choose the profile I want to submit with, the profile I just set up. Choose a URL list and choose an RSS list. Okay, the next thing I want to do here is make sure that I have select sites with accounts checked. And I want to shorten the article to 550 words. Preview sample. Now at this point, I'm ready to go. I have the profile selected, the URL list selected, the RSS list, the article in there, all the information filled out. I've selected sites with accounts, and I have all the categories selected. Okay, so to start the submission, I'm just going to hit start. So now the submitter is doing its job, and I'm not fast forwarding this, you can just see it working on its own. And a lot of times what I'll do is actually minimize the submitter and go to the window here. And you can see what's been posted and when it's posted here. You can see success rates and failure rates here. And the other thing about SE Nuke X is you can actually have multiple submitters going on at the same time. I have this submitter going on for the social network. And this submitter was when I was actually creating the article and social profiles. So it actually works really well and does it all in the background. Now take a look here. This is the website it's submitting to. Here's the order. Here's the number. This is website number 3 of 25 it's going to be doing. And here's the status details. It's logging in. It's waiting. And then it's adding content. I can maximize it to see it doing its thing. And when you look at the submitter in this way, you can really see the power of the whole program. It's pretty freaking amazing. If you want to do this stuff manually, it would take 5, 10, or 20 times longer. And it just keeps going. So now I can see I'm up to 11 out of 25 websites. Let's go ahead and fast forward this part so you can see how many sites were successful. Okay, so now it's done. So it tells me that I have 17 successful submissions 
and eight failed submissions. And at this point, I could copy the URL list. I could load or save this report if I wanted to. And then here's the solution center. It tells you what the problem was and what the solution is. If you wanted to manually go in there and fix it. Okay, so that's the submitter. Pretty freaking awesome.